minimalize Earth's life into 24 hours, humans have only been here for three seconds. And look what we have done. We have destroyed entire forests for ivory and red meat. We have destroyed entire ecosystems, but hey, we still have McDonald's. We have built concrete shelters that shut ourselves out from nature. Good evening, everyone. My name is Arabind Venu, and yes, I am 16. We all experience traumatic conditions and events in our life. But a whole state experiencing a traumatic event cannot be uncalled for. In 2018, the state of Kerala experienced the worst flood of the century. And it was an uncalled for. A chain of bad reactions caused this event. And I'm going to give you a brief descri description on how this happened. This wasn't the huge blockbuster that the Malayalis were hoping for, but this is what we got. Part one. Before I get into it, I want you guys to know what the Malayalam shows look like. We have a very vivid landscape. We have plains, we have oceans, we have beaches, and we have the plateau side. So, how did this occur? Well, patience. The main and foremost important part in this flood was the dams. The dams played a huge role in this. And you might be thinking, what can a dam do in a flood? Well, the answer is quite simple. A dam is a massive reservoir of water. And what happens if a dam loses all of its water at once? Well, the effects can be similar to a tsunami. So, what did the Kerala State Electricity Board do to avoid from this disaster? Well, they let out huge amounts of water from all the dams at the same time. Great move. This speeded the movement of the flood. And that's part one. Now let's get on to part two. Part two is where human negligence comes into play. We have all seen how human negligence can cause huge disasters. We all know what happened in Chernobyl. Well, the same happened in Kerala, but slowly, and no one knew about it. Kerala is a growing economy, and we need our resources. So what did we do to get these resources? Well, we have open minds. What are open minds, you ask me? Open minds are things that are created for the sole purpose of extracting rock and minerals directly from the core. And these are really hard to maintain, and they are really expensive too. But do you know that most of the quarries and my mines in Kerala are illegal, and no one knows about this? If you're creating and operating an illegal mine, that is a safety hazard and environmental hazard at the same time. And that's exactly what happened. At least 900 people lost their lives because of landslides during the floods. And all this were created due to the fact that these mines were poorly maintained and none of them had no safety regulations whatsoever. That's part two. You see this picture? This is the only airport in the whole wide world that completely runs on solar power. That means everything from the toilet lights to the air traffic control runs on solar power. But now, right now, it's flooded. An international airport has tarmac control. That means the water that floods will automatically get out. But not here, not in Cochin. Cochin is also home to, the, to India's biggest mall. And you might be proud to be a Malayali. Well, let me say something to you. Kochi was never supposed to be the metropolitan city it is today. Kochi never had the strength and capacity to hold this much buildings. Its land never had this much integrity. Kochi has always been a loose-lying land situated next to water. But how come such a huge environmental hazard was looked upon when things like this were built there? Corruption. Corruption was the king here. Ever since democracy was invented in Greece, corruption always had a huge hand in it. And well, we are still not free from it. But on the bright side, during all of this,
Kerala became a beacon of humanitarianism. Volunteers came from unknown places. Mobile phones became mini control rooms. And we found our supermen, our own supermen, our fishermen. This was a goosebump moment for most of the Malayalis out there. But the thing is that things like this can always happen again. And all of you might be thinking, what is this short 16-year-old kid telling me to do? What does he know? And how is he going to act? Well, I've already led a foot ahead. Let me introduce you to E4 Earth. E4 Earth is an environmental organization created by me and my friends. It's nothing much, but it's honest work. So, what can you do to help? Every small step counts, and let me tell you that. Every plastic that you feel is not necessary counts. Every straw, I'm not being a VSCO girl here, but still, that counts. So, humans don't want to be hatred towards each other. They've always been kind to each other. And the good earth is rich and can provide for one another. But we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned our souls. It has filled us with misery. More than machinery, we need kindness. More than cleverness, we need humanity. And it's high time we step up. And you guys, the young people of the generation, are who is going to take action. You are the only people who can take action. Don't rely on the elders, please. It's time that you guys take action. That's what we're going to do. So, I assure each and every one of you, if you have an ambition in mind, it's going to work. Because you're going to make it work. Thank you.